when I was a kid, I always thought I was going to be the first astronaut to go to Mars, and I've always been captivated by Antarctic sciences. I'm actually the first astrobiology student at UTES, learning more about life on Earth to learn about potential life elsewhere in the universe. My research is on psychophilic bacteria, which are bacteria that really like cold. I'm looking at two moons. Europe is a moon of Jupiter and Enceladus is a moon of Saturn. And they're called icy moons. They're covered in ice up to 40 kilometers thick and underneath the ice they have oceans. And so that sort of replicates sea ice down here on Earth and subglacial lakes. And this is where you find those psychophilic bacteria. So we're gonna be growing them in the lab so we can manipulate the conditions to sort of reflect the conditions up in Europe and Enceladus and then seeing if they survive or not. They reckon that if life were to exist, they'll probably exist within the Brian networks and channels and fractures up there. NASA and the ESA are going to be sending a couple of probes and landers to Europa in about 2022-2024. We don't really know how life actually originated on Earth, so to find life on another celestial body actually gives us more questions than answers. I've got so many opportunities here that I never thought I'd get. At the start of this year, I got an opportunity to go to Japan, take the sea ice field course up there. Sea ice in the lab is not really the same as sea ice in nature. So to see like sea ice in real life and actually walk on it, it was really cool. It gave me a really good insight into like physical characteristics of sea ice. There's no other university in Australia where you can actively study Antarctic science. We have more marine scientists than any other city in Australia. And Hobart's one of the gateway cities to Antarctica. So this was the perfect place to do it in Australia. It's a really, really good place to come and learn.